Then I'm going to make mango amchar. You can make it with chalta. Um, what I did, I didn't have like green, green mangoes. So I have like half ripe mangoes, which is chopped and washed. And then I have some hot water here. So if it's anything you're using, you're going to boil this face for at least five to ten minutes. So if it is like really green, you want to get like half of that sourness out. Okay, once it's fully submerged, you just leave it a little bit boil for at least 5 to 10 minutes on a very low heat. After a little 10 minutes of boiling, you remember this is half ripe, so I'm going to take this off now and strain it. If it is you have the green green one, leave it for next like 5 minutes, 15 minutes total, and then take it off, right? So to start off now, we put the butter hot, and then you're going to put at least average 2 tablespoons of mustard oil. You could use canola oil or even carrot oil, but I prefer the mustard oil because you don't really get like a taste. And you don't need to like use preserving powder with this. And you're going to leave it in it hot. Please excuse the condition of my pot. Um, it got grooved in like that when I was trying to make um, the most parasad. And while that is hotting, I have at least three tablespoons of Chardon Benny, a tablespoon of grind pepper, and one tablespoon of garlic and onion mixed together. I have three quarter cup of sugar, but I will be using so much since my sugar, well, since my mango is like half ripe. So you're gonna have this here on standby. But your main ingredients will be anjou masala and your roasted jira. So over here in this pack is probably let's say about three tablespoons. So I may be using all of this. And I will use like basically a teaspoon of this roasted jira. So once this is hot, I'm going to actually throw in at least two tablespoons of my anchovy masala. And I'm going to let this heat a little bit and I'm going to add in my tablespoon of juice. Once that is there, I'm going to give it a little stir. And wait for this at least bubble a little bit, just like if you're going to make curry. Once it starts to bubble, you could actually throw in your mango and mix it up. Okay, so I throw it in. I'm mixing this up. After this is mixed up, I'm actually going to throw in my fresh seasoning. Mix this up again. And now I'm going to train the rest of my um, chai masala. There we go. Mix it up. I'm going to add in some of my sugar, so I'm going to add like a tablespoon of my sugar. I think I end up throwing like two tablespoons instead. <laughs> Mix this up. And I'm going to actually add in the rest of my Andrew Masala. And two tablespoons again of sugar. I'm going to mix this up. I'll let this simmer for a minute or two on low heat. After my minute, I'm going to simmer. I'm going to add in some black pepper. Let's see about a teaspoon of black pepper and salt to taste. And I'll mix this all up. Now, if you want to have a little sauce in this, you can add in like, uh, say, four tablespoons of water. That's if you would like some sauce, because you don't want this like too watery, watery. Right, but it depends on like how much you're cooking too. So like with this amount, I would probably put, let's say, yeah, about four to five tablespoons of water. Alright, so I've added my water. 
Now if you want to dry just there's no problem. I'm gonna mix this up a little bit. And I want like a very nice thick sauce for this. But I want everything to cook as well. So with this I'm gonna like let this simmer for two to three minutes. And then I'm gonna take this off. You could taste it to see if you want more sugar or if you want more pepper or even more salt. It's up to you. And I'm gonna let this simmer. So after two minutes of simmering, I got this really nice thick sauce. Okay, and now I can lock this off and that's the end of it. As I said, now depending on what kind of mangoes or chowder that you're using, you may require like more sugar if it is like really, really, really young or green. So it will vary. So that's it.